What's going on, y'all? Uh, I want to show you some tips for using automation in Studio One. Uh, we'll jump right into this. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is automation tracks. Automation tracks are tracks that you can create in the arrange view that you can write automation to for parameters, whether it be parameters of an audio track, uh, parameters for a plugin. So this is a mix that I'm working on. Uh, the artist name is QB, it's produced by Marco Dane. And this beep sound, I want to create uh, some automation for. Uh, so let's uh, take a listen to it now. So you can hear I have the delay uh, going to the right channel. I want to automate it so it'll go to the right and then go to the left. So automation tracks, the easiest way to create an automation track is to select the parameter you want to automate. And by the way, I'm, I want to automate the pan on this uh, effects channel. The only way you can write automation for a bus or an effects is to do an automation track. Uh, you can press T to create a new track and under type you've got an option for automation. Uh, but the easiest way I find to create one is to click on the parameter that you want to automate. That parameter will show up here in the upper left. And then from there you just grab the hand and you drag it into your range. And I'm going to drag it under the beep. And there's my automation track. So let's go over some keyboard shortcuts as well. So a will switch you into your automation view. Now, because that's an automation track, it won't change. It's going to always show automation. But in your automation view, if you press H, you'll cycle through your parameters. So let's go to the audio track and let's show that. So H, I'll cycle through volume, pan, mute, and then display off. If you want to add to it, you can go to add or remove here and add more parameters that you can cycle through. Uh, J will toggle your read on and off. And your read is your track reading the automation that you have wrote. And K will toggle it into touch mode. Uh, so let's get back to the, the automation track. And I'm just going to see it's full right here. Let's. Do some here and then on 17 let's do some all right let's take a listen to that Okay, so that is automation tracks. You can do the same thing even with uh, plugins. Uh, let's say this beat delay here. I want it to automate the feedback. I just click on it. See it change the feedback here. Grab the hand and just drag it into the range. And you've got an automation track for that. Uh, the next thing I want to show is the transform tool. Uh, so the transform tool is... Uh, one of the unique automation features of Studio One. And it's usually shown off in a, a dramatic fashion because Transform can really warp and change uh, your automation. I'm going to use it for something more, I guess I'll say logical. Uh, let's see, let me find the track. It's this track here. Uh, so this track here I want to automate so these haze are going left and right. So, let's start by creating an automation point, and I'm going to select, let's do the square, and make sure I'm at one to one. And yeah, there we go. We'll just do two here. Okay, so let's take a listen to that. 
Okay, actually, that's volume, so let's take that to pan. There we go. All right, see what we got now. All right, so I've got that panned far uh, hard left, hard right. Uh, what I like to use the transform tool to do is to bring that in some. So I'm going to select transform and I'm going to highlight our automation points here. And just get the whole thing. And from there, I can bring. So I can change the size with the, with the transform. I can change the width of that pan. We can bring it about halfway there, and switch back to my arrow tool. And let's take a listen to it now. Just give you an idea of some of the crazy things that you can do with the transform. Ah. Oh, it took me off of it. Okay, get transform back. And as you see, it says distort there. We can really do some weird things here. Let's see what this sounds like. probably won't be that drastic with pan, uh, but if you were automating other parameters, uh, you can do some really crazy things with the transform. And the last thing I want to show is gain and automation points, mul uh, editing multiple automation points uh, with volume gain. Let me unsolo that, and I'm going to play the beginning of this verse. So in this verse uh, where he says big beard, uh, the word beard is kind of uh, buried and I'm going to use volume automation to bring that up. Uh, let's take a listen. Alright, one more time. Listen to that word beard. I think you hear that beard is kind of low, so like I said, I'm going to use some volume automation to bring that up. Uh, so, got the track selected, use H to come over to my volume, and let's find uh, that word. Right here. Okay, so let's zoom in to that word. So to do the volume automation, I'm going to first uh, create a couple automation points. And you've got to create two on the outside and then two on the inside. And then what we'll be manipulating is the two on the inside because we only want to affect those two. So if you hold shift and select multiple points, you can bring up those both of those points at the same time. Something even easier uh, that I found out you can do is if you right click on a point, you'll get an option to select a, volume, a value. So um, I know I want to raise this 3dB, so I can right click, select 3, enter, or click off of it, and it's going to do it for both of those points uh, that I have selected. Uh, let's take a listen to it now. It's actually a little too loud to me. Let's bring it down to 2.5. And you can just click off of it. You don't have to hit enter. And then without it. Not too 
So that's an example of using a volume automation. Uh, if you hold shift select multiple points, you can bring up, it's really handy for if you want to edit just one word or uh, the beginning of a word. Uh, and then entering the volume, the value is a really quick way uh, to set automation once you've uh, created your points. Uh, so there you go. There's a few tips uh, for using automation in Studio One, and I'll catch you all next time.